I couldn't resist. <coughs> um, it's now heading for 10 o'clock. Um, and on Windy, which is pretty accurate these days, if you look at the gusts and you look at the wind at the moment, then you'll see there's a dead area right here and these guys in this area are going to have some troubles but the guys down here are going to have a little bit more wind well significantly more 19 or 20 knots still a northwesterly and here it's dying down um, now looking at the live tracker you'll see that the guys that's doing the best speeds at the moment that are still in a good zone of wind is Yachtport SA you're doing 8.1 knots 3 minutes ago and um, let's see where their position is more or less over there if I put my finger there yeah they've got a at least still got a 14 knots wind and um, yeah, let's look at the other guys, the leaders. Um, we've got Raymarine regardless. And we've got... Come on. We've got the rocket. Rocket still keeping speed up. These guys decided they're going to see if they can find some more wind. And then we've got YOLO and TAMTAM. -tam. Now interesting, their speeds, 3 knots, 3 to 4 knots. Um, Rocket is making good speed, but so far the fastest one is Yacht Port. And these guys down here should have good wind as well. Yeah, Malulani doing a decent speed there. About time. Sophie, 8.6. That's not bad. Um, but they'll never catch up to the front of the fleet. Um, let's look what the wind will do a bit further on through the night see that dead spot there um, oh, early morning it's going to speed up again so from what I can see I think the best call would be to round the gullas and stay in this area and line yourself up to go straight for Mossel Bay and not mess around here close to shore and then you have to tack away again and whatever because um, the wind is going to pump to Mossel Bay so the guys are going to have a fantastic run um, sure definitely if all the equipment holds and so on then we're going to see new records that won't be beaten in many years